So here I am again, <clears throat> and I'm just happy to bring you guys uh, what is the Mike's Brush um, digital camo set. And it's a stencil set, comes with two stencils that you can use to produce digital camo such as this, and you can make your stuff disappear. See, digital camo, it's gone. <laughs> but really guys, if you're interested in a, in a stencil set for being able to do digital camo, not just on canvas, but you can do it on shirts, vehicles, pretty much anything you can use a stencil on. They're really flexible and they're nice and easy to use. Anyway, check out the link down below if you're interested. Here's a video on how to use it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Later. All right, so you've gone and got ordered your Mike's Brush digital camo set, and it comes with two nice cutouts. Again, they're fully ready, um, and they're nice and precise, so you don't have to worry about uh, you know cutting out your own or trying to mask this off or laying some kind of crazy vinyl or something like that. So we're just gonna take one of these, and we're just gonna grab ourselves some pieces of tape. We're gonna tape this up here, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do, do it. So all I'm going to do is take this up here, right about there. And this is really good for like backgrounds if you're making like a war memorial type of thing or, you know, just for any kind of stuff. Maybe you want to just turn something into digital camouflage, like RC bodies or, you know, little, little stuff. But... I like using it for the background of my pictures, so for this particular canvas, I want to put the digital camo in the background and then we're going to put a design over it, right? So I'm going to show you guys how to use the, the stencil here and all I'm going to do is start off with some gray, right? And I'm just going to kind of lightly lay it over. I'm not going to go full ham. And it's really important when you're doing these. That you don't go over it a bunch of times. If, if you're going to commit to it, commit all the way 100% and then leave down the stroke that you want to lay, right? Um, <clears throat> if you are particular about overspray, right? We've got a little bit of overspray here. You could always mask it off or uh, build yourself a rim around here. But for this one, I'm not particularly worried. We're going to kind of wave it in, make it look like uh, digital camo in the background here. So I'm just going to keep going. Got that right there. Nice little pattern. All I'm gonna do is flip it over and kind of kind of light it up with some of these right here. And then want it over a little bit more. Up some up right there. The same thing. Add some freehand around the, the sides here. Um, you know, maybe just use this edge right here. A little bit more, maybe right here. Same thing on this side. Want some of this right there. As you notice, I'm moving it around, but these patterns go, you know, cross. So all you got to do is make sure you line it up, you know, left or right. You know, you, you can't really do diagonal, you know, once you've done a straight one, that's really not going to line up, right? So all we're going to do is keep moving it around. Oh, one little funny. 
piece right there. Something like that. Maybe that same one right here. Bam. So now in order to get a different pattern, we're going to use our second one. And we're going to switch off to some black. And we're going to go ahead and switch over our pieces of tape. Right, so we can just reuse these same pieces of tape. Put that over there. Again, just kind of line it up, up and down, right? So make sure it's nice and straight. Take a little bit of black, and we're gonna pull it in. Camouflage coming in right there. Flip it around. Bring it in right about there. Fill her in again. Digital camo. Again, just gonna take a little bit freehand, put it over here. Bam. Same thing on this side. Right there. Switching off to some white because I want it to look kind of wavy. So, <clears throat> and I'm just gonna throw some white right over that right there. And there you go. We've made like winter digital camo. Uh, it's quick and fast, as you can see. And <clears throat> you could do it in multiple different colors, you know, the traditional brown, uh, green, and black, you know, you could do it multiple layers, brown, tan, and, you know, just keep working with it. I mean, it does all the colors. It's obviously a stencil. You could use it any way you want, and you can use it on anything you want. So if you want to make some shoes and you want to camo them out, this is your uh, calling right here. Again, if you want to... Avoid any of that overspray. You just put some adhesive on the back here, some spray adhesive, and you're good to go. Anyway, guys, hope you guys like this stencil. Hope you, hopefully it helps some of you guys out. I know this is a stencil that I always need, and every time I have to cut it out, I dread it. So, you know, now that I could have it, um, and I'm extending the offer to you guys if you guys want it. So, 
We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Later.